create a new project so i selected blank template and i give a name infinity runner to open editor click on editor i selected untitled scene to change the scene name i clicking on settings then scene name i change into game so in settings here you can click from here or you can click from this set from here so i checking as a task and here create fbx folder this boolean i am taking so i don't want to create any folder while importing models these are the assets which i am going to use in this game so i will attach the link in the description so you can download from there first i creating similar folder adding our items our item is input so first i focusing on um, ground movement for that i deleting our default items only light i keeping and camera i keep So camera position I changing zero three point five ten again rotation value zero zero again. So insert the model environment from here. I need to select ground. So this is the new. method of play canvas so it will create one time while importing 3d model it will create template so this thing you can add so this is scene area so using left mouse icon you can rotate like this if you are using right mouse you can rotate from one axis w ASD keep to move the you can fly camera kind of so this is I selected ground template so if you can add this template to scene while draw and draw so like this you can add either you can draw and draw. to hierarchy like this you can add in third method you right click on root template add instance so it will automatically show all templates so you can select ground template so this three way you can add your model to game so i added ground So I creating one empty entity. I renaming this entity to grounds. So all grounds I making child of this ground. Parent. So I just drag and dropping. So this template or this entity become child of grounds parent. So entity. Position setting zero zero. So this is perspective. These are the different different view. Perspective top, bottom, front, camera view. So if you are clicking on camera view, so you can see through the camera what we can see. Here this side light is very less. So I rotating. If if you are selected in camera view and if you are rotate you can see here you can see the rotation value so it is affecting on camera entity so you make sure if you are in camera view don't rotate like this it will affect your camera settings so you make it 
by going from camera view to perspective view. Now I can move. It will not affect on camera. Here you can click on camera and here one lock button is there. So if you click on lock, what it is seeing through the camera. In stop light so much adjustment I doing one more thing. Click on game view and rendering. So here I changing ambient color to little gray and linear to ACS format and this is size exposure I give it to so it is quite enough bright right now so to see the play game view click on play so you can see what it is through the camera first I focusing on ground movement so for that I creating uh, some ground entity so I duplicating same entity so for duplicating control D for duplicate or right click and duplicate so this is my first down so I giving one or zero so for movement I need one parent so what logic I'm going to implement so there index is one important thing so i giving name like index order so first index this is second index child i giving position negative tone so you can see it is moved negative tone so negative tone then I giving negative 10 so if you are go top view so you can see this entity is taken to grid space so if you are control D and move so you can see it is fitting to grid space so right now this movement is freely happening so here one tool is snap so you click snap so if you are moved right now it is moving one grid space so like this you can do it in settings you go editor So if I click on that one, rename it duplicate, it will come name automatically. So it's your wish how you want. So here you can see it is automatically renaming while duplicate. This is enough. Now let's focus on script. So I create a new script. I need to attach the script to every ground entity you need to add one component called script so to add component click on add component select script then click here so here it will automatically show platform movement script so first I need to move this object or this entity to left side so for that to open editor double click or click on editor each element or each object or whatever you seeing in hierarchy it's called entity so this default name it is entity so for moving I need one speed so I creating one variable called this dot speed equal to negative 6 why I given negative 6 because I moving this entity in left negative side negative direction means left direction 
and deleting this thing. Next, I need to take my current entity position. Then to the current posi x position, I adding speed into delta time. This dot entity dot get local position. So this dot entity it is focusing this entity and dot get position get local position which means right now this entity child of this ground. So under the ground parent this is become this position become local space of this ground parent. So I taking local position of this entity then I adding speed to x position so dot x then plus this so if you are creating variable with this keyword so it become public variable in this script so I can access this speed any any function in this script this dot speed into dt dt is delta time this is one variable default variable of this object now i need to set that position to this entity to set this dot entity dot set local position then I adding x updated x comma y comma z. So this is vector three value. So I need to give x y z. So let's check. Just click on refresh. So you can see right now our platform is moving after moving this platform so let's i reach at 14 negative 14 so after reaching this position what i doing i rearranging this entity position to positive 14 so i already calculated x so i checking if x is less than or equal to negative 14 then here one logic i going to add so i reach it negative 14 next i need to understand what is the last index entity position so which means ground 13 position what is the ground current 13 x position to know that one so first i need to know uh, parent then from the parent i need to checking last index of last child of this parent so ground 13 then from that position from that entity i taking position then plus i adding 2 so 2 in the sense grid size grid 2 so for getting parent i creating one more variable this dot parent equal to this dot entity dot parent so I created parent variable then one more variable I creating this dot child count equal to this dot parent dot children dot length so child count I got 
so instead of doing this uh, this thing i can write like this also so right now this let's focus here so right now this entity reaches 14 negative 14 so i rearranging x equal to my parent dot children last index so total number of children negative one is right now last index from there get position local position of x plus two after we are setting here i need to rearrange this ground to last index for that so this dot entity dot reparent to this dot parent so let's check once right now you can see it is working properly so if i move camera a little far you can see after reaching negative 14 it is rearranging to last index so here one minor bug is there so i will show you so here you can see one gap so this gap you can see to fix that one what i doing i duplicating this entire thing and paste it here then i removing i cutting I paste it here I removing this one so instead of update I giving post update so here what is different between update and post update so update is happening every frame post update is happening after finishing every update so I removing this one from here so what happening right now x is updated so x i setting so after setting this x i checking my x position again then if negative 14 then i rearrange it you can be first once again so here you can see there is no gap in between two entity or two ground object 